QBASIC An Introduction to Programming Computer Programming A computer program is used to give instructions to the computer so that it can perform the tasks we want it to. Before writing a program, logical steps are gathered to solve a particular problem. Algorithm and flowchart are the first steps towards writing a program. Let us learn about how to write basic programs. Basic as language. Basic is an interpreter which means it reads every line, translates it and executes it before reading another line. Each line contains one instruction and each instruction starts with a line number. QBASIC QBASIC stands for Quick Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. It is a programming language developed by John G. Kemeny and Thomas E. Kurtz. It can be learned quickly as its statements are easy to be read by other programmers and support is available on most of the operating systems. Opening QBASIC Steps to open QBASIC You can start working with QBASIC by double-clicking the shortcut icon of QBASIC present on the desktop. Components of QBASIC window The QBASIC window consists of program name, menu bar, vertical scroll bar, program area, status bar, horizontal scroll bar. Steps to save and run a program After opening QBASIC, QBASIC window will appear. Type the program in the window. Press enter to change the line. CLS, print, I am computer, end. To save and run your program, click the file option from the menu bar. Drop down menu will appear. Then select save option. The Save As dialog box will appear. Type an appropriate file name for the program and click OK button. Click on Run menu and select Start option. Run window will appear. Opening and Exiting You can open your existing program in QBASIC. Steps to open program are Click the File option from the menu bar. Drop down menu will appear. Select Open option to open your existing program. Open dialog box will appear. Search and select your file name and click Open button. To close a program, select the Exit option from the file menu. QBASIC Program Elements Like all programming languages, QBASIC is made up of some basic elements. These elements are Character Set Constants, Variables, Operators and Statements Character Set The character set consists of all letters of the alphabet from A to Z in capital and small letters, numbers 0 to 9 and special symbols like plus, minus, forward slash, asterisk, brackets, etc. Constants Constants are the data values used in a QBASIC program. A constant always remains fixed throughout the program. Constants are of two types. Numeric constants. These are numbers which can be positive, negative and can even have decimal points. For example, 8, minus 78, 87.44, etc. One can also carry out mathematical operations with them. String constants. They are also known as alphanumeric constants. They are enclosed within double quotes and can be made up of letters, digits, special characters and blank spaces. For example, Abhinav, A3, Aditya Kapoor, etc. Variables Variables are the data items which may change their value with the execution of a program. A variable is a name given to the specific amount of memory space which can contain a value. A variable has a type which is defined by the type of value it holds. If the variable holds a number, 
it may be of integer or floating decimal variable. If the variable holds symbols or text, it may be a character variable or a string variable. Here are some examples of values a variable might contain. Character D, integer 9, float 92.11, string, this is a string. The first is character which is always enclosed within single quotes. The next two are numbers. There is another data type called string which can store any type of value. Variables are of two types, numeric variables. Numeric variables store numeric data. A numeric variable name can be formed by using letters and digits, but it should begin with an alphabet and should not contain any special characters or spaces. For example, age is equal to 25, mark 1 is equal to 78.9. Here, age is a numeric variable which stores the constant value 25. Some invalid variable names are 2 row. First character must be letter. Employee hyphen age. There should be no special character. Annual space salary. This is invalid because it has a blank space. String variables. String variables are used to store a string of characters. String variables also follow the same rules as for numeric variables. But string variables should always end with a dollar sign. For example, name dollar is equal to Neha in quotes. Item dollar is equal to pen in quotes. Q basic program elements. Rules for variables. While naming any variable, you must follow certain rules. It should start with an alphabet. Both numeric variables and string variables must not contain any special characters. Variable names can contain numbers also, but not at the starting position. The variable name must not have any space in between. The variable name must not contain any special character. Declaring variables. You can declare the variables in two ways. DIM statement is used for declaration of variables. Suppose you wanted to make a variable called sum which would contain an integer. You can do it as follows. DIM sum as integer. QBASIC has a set of symbols which represent each variable type. Dollar for string, percent for integer, exclamation for single, ampersand for long and hash sign for double. Adding one of these symbols to the name of a variable in the program tells the computer the type of value we will be using in the program. Operators Operators are used to do calculations using variables and constants and perform other operations. There are three main types of operators. Mathematical operator. Mathematical operators are used to make calculations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. The mathematical operators are plus for addition, minus for subtraction, forward slash for division, asterisk for multiplication and caret for exponential. Relational operators. You can use relational operators to compare two values. The different relational operators are greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, not equal to. Logical operator. You can use the logical operators to combine two or more conditions to form a more complex condition. The AND operator. AND operator combines two or more conditions together. If, for example, A is the first condition and B is the second condition, the compound statement with AND operator will be true only if both the conditions are true. For example, the statement if x percent is less than 80 and y percent is greater than 65 will be true only if x is less than 80 
and y is greater than 65. The OR operator. The conditions with OR operator will be true when either one condition is true or both the conditions are true. For example, statement if x percent is less than 20 or y percent is greater than 60 will be true if any one condition is true. That is, either x is less than 20 or y is greater than 60. The NOT operator. The NOT operator inverts the condition. That is, if the condition is true, then it converts into false and if the condition is false, it will convert it to true. It operates only on one operand. QBasic statements. QBasic has a set of commands for performing different tasks. A single command is known as a statement. Commonly used statements in QBasic are let. Let statement is used to assign a value to a variable. CLS. CLS statement clears the screen. End. The end terminates a program and returns to QBasic. Print. Print statement displays results on the screen at the current text cursor position. Input. Input command is used to accept the data item from the user.